here at Groundswell, we believe that art creates community and community creates change. And we do that through three impact areas, the art that we create, the young people we work with, and our community partners. Over the past 16 years, we've created over 400 pieces of public art throughout New York City, ranging from topics of anti-gun violence, women's rights, environmental justice, and community beautification. We've done projects from Hunts Point, the Bronx, all the way to Corona, Queens, Staten Island, East New York, Brownsville, um, we're really reaching all of the boroughs. An overview of this project, okay, we're focusing on the male identity, and in this, we're trying to give back an offering to the community about who you were yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Our Making History project is a great example of how art can be used as a tool for social change. This project enables young men to speak out about issues that are relevant to their lives. In this community, everybody's looking down on, you know, the males and the youth, and it's not too much good going on. So here, you know, we're just trying to give it back to them. We're trying to make everybody think about what we had before, the morals that we lost. The male identity mural has left a strong impact on me for the fact that I never really thought too much about it as a male. But doing this project, researching it, getting into what makes a human being a human being, what gives them a soul, what makes them a man, really like clicked with me. A team of young men, a number of whom have a history of court involvement, came together to really look at the male identity within the context of where the site was in Brownsville. We don't live in the best neighborhood. Um, especially me, I live in this neighborhood. I live actually where the mural is. So I see it every day and I can read it every day and interpret it in different ways every day. We're really trying to offer young people, particularly young people on probation, an opportunity to flip the script and redefine themselves so that they don't think of themselves as a thug or a criminal or a probationer, but they think of themselves as a construction worker or a father or a student or in this case, an artist. I came to Brownsville through a transfer school, more colloquially known as a last chance high school, and I think that Brownsville set me up on a path for success. I feel like there's an open world, there's open opportunity. I need to get that, you know? I'm trying to go into an art college, and uh, doing this will really help me. What we find is by building that self-esteem and sense of clarity within oneself that people can go on to make changes in their lives. What's next for me? Going to college, graduating, opening up my own gallery, opening up my own studio and doing this for the communities as well as for the children and adults and anybody who has a dream and a vision, I want to make it happen like Roundswell did.